I'm happy to start this lightning talk session with a presentation on my award-winning project, Deep Mapping, Creating a Dynamic Web Application Museum Soft Power Map. So the project, um, sorry, <laughs> uh, it was developed at the G Digital Studio uh, in the University of Melbourne in 2018 in collaboration with the Australian Center for the Moon Image. ACME. ACME is the state museum housing the largest in the country collection of the moon images documents ranging from films to digital arts and to installations. So the project created a pilot dynamic web application museum soft power map and it trailed a new deep mapping framework to visualize museum capacities to exert global impacts. And let's watch a very short introduction video about the app. At the University of Melbourne, we've created a way for the first time to visually map and measure the soft power of museums. We have collaborated with the Australian Centre for the Moon Image to globally map ACME's resources, outputs and outcomes. The system maps the data in five layers. The first layer maps ACME International Collection Appeal Power based on culture and language. The more intense the green, the greater the appeal power. As you can see, the collection appeals strongly in North America, Europe and the Asia Pacific. The second layer is online engagement power and it maps ACME's online global audiences. The varied intensity of the blue indicates that the majority of these audiences are coming from developed countries in Europe and North America. The Asia Pacific appears relatively untapped. If we move down, we come to the global connectivity power layer. And here we map ACME's in relationship with 180 organizations around the world. We can see that ACME is strongly connected with museums in the United States and many European countries. Its relationships in the Asia Pacific are still emerging. The next layer, local engagement power, maps the international tours of ACME exhibitions. It correlates visitation data with multiple variables across different sets of data. Finally, we have the Melbourne engagement power layer that maps ACME. City. So there you have it. ACME mapped across various dimensions of soft power, providing the museum with a key information for strategic planning and development. Uh, in the academic literature, geovisualization is often criticized for pre uh, presenting information in a distinctly positivist way. For example, Sullivan and Vanderich stress that it fails to offer a reliable platform to theorize knowledge. Omar Clafferty also argues that mapping has technical barriers to integrate quantitative and qualitative data in order to generate new knowledge. Martineau uh, further points out that visualization becomes a research routine, reinforcing technological and methodological procedures and produces an effect of naivety. In response to this critique, uh, the project Deep Mapping attempted to demonstrate that geovisualization can be instrumental for intense data exploration that can help identify data patterns that uh, help to generate hypotheses. The project employed grounded visualization as a recursive and reflexive set of practices drawing on both qualitative and quantitative research in which data gathering, analysis, and presentation are conducted through multiple iterations in a quite fluid manner. Developing a uh, visualization application demonstrated that not all collected data, of course, could be meaningfully quantified. The project employed a qualitative analysis of the institutional historical re records and the insights uh, shared by museum experts. To visualize this data, the mapping application uh, incorporated the dimension of digital storytelling that allowed for a more nuanced and accurate presentation of details to expose various aspects of soft power generation. Specifically, uh, 
it features multiple hyperlink narratives and storylines that trace ACME exhibitions, uh, partnerships, uh, and all other important information. Furthermore, the project draws on the approach of deep mapping that is based on the focused integration of different types of data through their cartographic display on multiple layers. It allows to visualize and evaluate um, interrelationships, coexistence, and process of complex phenomena predominantly uh, by exposing and comparing different data across layers. Finally, the project incorporated elements of a reflexive design embracing the subjective nature of data visualization. This was possible through observations and discussions with multiple stakeholders of the project, including uh, different research uh, units at the University of Melbourne and also external partners. For example, ACMEX, which is a museum incubator and the research hub for Melbourne's creative practitioners and designers. So in this way, the project incorporated uh, this and adhered to the principles of community-driven technologies and uh, included multiple uh, you know, consultations with museum um, uh, actors in Australia and abroad. Such a reflexive design enabled an adoption of new forms of empiricism, and it's designed a tool to aggregate and map multiple data sets to expose meaningful correlation across layers and to highlight gray zones uh, leading to generating research hypotheses. Thank you very much for your attention today.